All menu item adjustments made to the PDI are reported on this display. To get started, first make certain that the silver key is in the enable position. To access the administrator mode for the first time, press the access keypad. If no attempt is made to enter a code, the unit will continue chirping for 10 seconds and then return to normal operations. If anyone enters an unauthorized or incorrect code, an audio tamper alarm will sound and access denied will be displayed. Remember that if you inadvertently touch the access touchpad, no further action should be taken and the unit will return automatically to the operate mode in about 10 seconds. Now, enter the factory preset administrator code of 5678. Use this code anytime you need to make changes to your detector settings. The first step in preparing your walkthrough for use in a security checkpoint is to define its application. This will help you determine the best program to select. The PDI's preset programs address a variety of security needs but basically fall within two broad categories. Programs where the detector will use discrimination to allow certain innocuous items to pass through, and programs using non-discrimination modes designed to detect all metals. Use the plus and minus touchpads to select one of the PDI's many programs. For example, when you select the airport's enhanced program, the unit detects guns, knives, and similar metallic weapons, but eliminates such innocuous items as keys, loose change, and cigarette packs. Several programs have been created to help you select the best discrimination option, such as schools, courthouses, and special events. On the other hand, when you select prisons, the unit detects all metal objects. Refer to the Program Description section of your owner's manual to help select the program which best addresses your security needs. Once you have selected a program, you next want to test the detector's base sensitivity setting to ensure that it is set to alarm on the items you wish to detect. In order to demonstrate how to change the unit's base sensitivity setting, we will first select Buildings, which is designed for general security. Then, press Access twice until alarm level appears on the LCD. The alarm level number should be 190 or higher. If it is less than 190, refer to the Interference Elimination section of your manual. Next, press Program to step to Base Sensitivity on the LCD. Before testing the unit, make certain that bar graph fluctuations are minimal and always check the ready light and the pacing lights to verify that power is on and the system is ready to go. First, let an individual with no metallic objects, known as a clean tester, pass through the detector. There should be no alarm. Then send him back through with your critical test object, a metallic target that is forbidden to pass through your security checkpoint. If you do not have a critical test piece, Garrett has two options. The operational test piece, or OTP, which simulates a small gun, and the flat test piece, or FTP, which represents a small knife. Using the Garrett OTP, this tester passes through the detector to determine the reading, or alarm level, of the target. The alarm level number is the minimum base sensitivity setting that will be required to detect this particular target. In order to fully analyze this test target, pass it back through the detector in different orientations to determine the target's weakest or most critical orientation. The highest alarm level number you record from these tests represents the highest base sensitivity setting 
that will be required to always detect this target, even in its weakest orientation. Using this number, add five additional points of sensitivity to ensure solid detection at all times. Now, using your test target in its weakest target orientation, test all the detector zones from head to floor level. If one zone does not consistently alarm on your test target, adjust the sensitivity level of that particular zone. To do so, press Access, enter your security code, and then scroll to the zone desired. In this case, we will select Zone 2. You will notice that the red vertical zone lights for Zone 2 are eliminated. Factory default for zone boost is 0% for each zone. Boost the sensitivity for this zone in steps of 5%. Then, test your target again at least four times in its weakest orientation in this zone. If necessary, increase the zone boost by another 5% and test again. Based on your new settings, tests should also be conducted with various metallic objects held at shoulder, waist, and ankle level. Observe how various innocuous items, such as keys or coins, affect the PDI with its new setting. This will help you determine what items must be removed from patrons prior to screening. Your PDI is now calibrated to your particular test targets and is ready to be utilized.